The Las Vegas Raiders are another team linked to quarterback Deshaun Watson. They're in competition with the New York Jets. But there are tons of rumors that the Dolphins are also interested in Watson. So, what is the truth? And why are the Watsons rumors around the Raiders and the Dolphins? The Houston Texans are actually going to deal their three-time pro bowler. And there are rumors the Raiders are exploring options to trade Derek Carr. Derek Carr's outstanding season has made him a sought-after commodity for teams in need of a quarterback and could open the door for the Raiders to pursue Houston Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson. The Raiders obviously are not tipping their hand about any offseason moves. But several NFL insiders expect the Raiders to field calls from teams inquiring about Carr's availability. By every measure, Carr performed like a top-10 NFL quarterback operating a top-10 offense last year. With that position and that side of the ball set, the Raiders can comfortably maintain the status quo and pour the majority of their financial resources and draft capital into improving their defense. But there is a flip side to the season Carr just produced. Increased demand for his services, insiders say, could create a scenario in which a three-team trade allows the Raiders to acquire Watson. For that to happen, the Raiders would have to receive two first-round picks for Carr from a team other than the Texans, which they would then package with their own first-rounders in 2021 and 2022 to present a compelling offer of four first-round picks to the Texans for Watson, who has reportedly asked be traded. The only way you trade a quarterback the caliber of Carr is by having a replacement plan in place that ensures improvement, an industry insider said. Watson, who represents an upgrade from Carr, would set up the Raiders at quarterback for the next decade. To add Watson, the Raiders will need a number of factors to fall into place, although industry insiders believe a path could, could emerge. But the chance to go from very good to great doesn't come around very often. And if things break right, the Raiders could be in position to do just that. Another possibility could happen, Watson could be considered by the Miami Dolphins. This is a directly threatened the position of the rookie Tua Tungavailoa. According to a secret source of NADFL, the main reason for Watson's rebellion was money. Specifically, there is a reason why Watson actively pumped out transfer rumors, consistently and targeted the Dolphins. First, this is enormous pressure on the Texans if they want to have a futures contracts with Watson. In order to keep their quarterback, of course the Texans must throw up the numbers that are not small, accompanied by the fees. Second, Watson said that he loved the Dolphins' culture, and expressed admiration for Brian Flores. But the main reason is Watson is aiming the no-state income taxes in Florida. And don't forget that, the Raiders fled ca California to Nevada in 2019 to avoid income tax, too. Watson didn't just want to play for the club he loved because he once claimed to be ready to sit on the bench if the Texans would not accept his trade. If Flores traded for Watson, it would be like buying a money heater. And I once said that Flores is not simply a coach, he is also a CEO. It won't happen to the Dolphins, but with the Raiders, I'm not sure.